Good evening, everybody. Namaste. This is a very special event when we have a guest as part of our integrative health education series. And we are joined today by an expert from the sports, a professor of sports. And uh, he's with us today from not Chandigarh, but he's traveling to take an special exam of people from physical education. And he has agreed to be a part of us. And it's a distinct pleasure to be uh, with him, in fact, rather than him being with us, because we've been doing this integrated uh, medical education series, integrative health education series, rather, and have been talking about various issues. And uh, we thought, uh, how could sports be left out of this uh, discussions and deliberations so we immediately thought of the person who is dominating the field of academics in sports and i would uh, formally in, uh, introduce dr gurmeet singh dr gurmeet singh is in our neighborhood of pgi uh, road across the street and he is the head of the physical education department at punjab university he is trained in uh, he has a masters in physical education with a gold medal and uh, his interests are biomechanics, kinesiology, kinesiology, sorry, I cannot pronounce that, he will tell you better. And uh, he has interest in yoga, biomechanics, and he often talks of sports literacy. You might have heard of sports medicine and uh, Dr. Dhillo at our institute I know of, there are other, other doctors and orthopedicians in other medical uh, institutes. So I know that there are sports and there are competitive sports and there are injuries. They go to him and they go to doctors. But then there is a, a sports literacy component uh, and there is an academic component which is uh, uh, which comes out in the form of these departments such as physical education sports department so dr gurmeet singh is also known to me for a very long time is a dear friend and uh, we've, had, we've had the opportunity of uh, going and representing chandigarh uh, in the nationals in jammu 20 25 years 30 years back and three, since then, I have seen him evolve into a great individual, <clears throat> person replete with a lot of positivity. And uh, most importantly, what I'm discovering with him is the academic uh, spark that he has, apart from being sports, so academics in sports. So let's try to find out what he has in store uh, for all, all of us. <clears throat> he will okay. be speaking on sports literacy in fitness and health. So how can sports determine uh, our competitive nature, how it can probably help us in modifying our behavior, how to keep healthy, have, how to be fit, and how to remain fit. So it's a proud privilege, Dr. Gurmeet, to welcome you to our program. We are a Thank group you. of uh, healthcare Thank workers. You, Dr. And Thank you, Dr. Yeah. Akshay, for this uh, very brief and wonderful uh, introduction. And I hope that... Um, I'm audible uh, to everybody, I think so. Yes, perfect. Uh, okay, okay, okay. And, and as uh, Dr. Akshay told uh, me about uh, how I can uh, uh, be with you uh, on this topic, that physical literacy. When we talk about physical literacy, the state way has uh, come in our mind that uh, uh, how you can... Uh, uh, how you can learn how to run, how to jump, how to throw basically so that uh, you, you will be able to uh, give your good performance later on in your life. You know that physical literacy is very important in your life. Uh, most of the uh, European countries early in 1950s, 60s, they ensure that each and every child in their school must be physically literate because physical literacy is must for uh, talent identification in sports because if, if the child know how to walk, how to run uh, and how to jump and throw basically in early ages, then they will become a good general, first good general athlete in, in, in their childhood. Then in later, later on, they can become a very uh, renowned elite athlete uh, in later on their life because physically they are literate. In the same way, when you know that the child don't know how to uh, pronounce, how to write, how to uh, sum up the things, so one, two, three, how to add up the thing, they, we help them to teach each and every subject in very early age. The same way, it is the duty of physical education teacher and those who are involved in uh, the school activities. Even I, I can say the parents, the role of the parents is very important uh, at this stage. That, that uh, they can, they must ensure that their child must be physically. Educated. They must know, how, 
they must understand that their kids must know how to walk properly and while running while doing running movement what are their hand movement what are their neck movement what is their head movement so all these perspectives are very important in physical literacy so uh, when we talk about uh, regular physical activity uh, it is very important otherwise you can and cannot uh, improve uh, as a human being because you know that uh, in physical education the main aim is the development of wholesome personality of human being. so in wholesome personality all the uh, aspects come um, whether it uh, um, you can say health physical mental health and social spiritual everything comes so it's a wholesome development in human personality so uh, physical literacy is must i can say it's a must so it is it is uh, the duty of physical education the parents and all the uh, health professionals and all the uh, physical education fitness for the um, professional those who are involved uh, in uh, in this fitness program they must know what is physical literacy and after physical literacy the sports literacy comes and movement literacy comes which is very important in later on their life you know that uh, in us alone uh, most of the these those who have won olympic medals they are one sport uh, sorry two sports or three sports at least uh, up to their high school level so which is very important means they are uh, doing two three sports it means we can uh, classify the sport in uh, early specialization sport and late specialization sport some sports uh, we can consider very early specialization sports like diving swimming table tennis these are very early specialization sports and track and field football and games these are the late specialization sports so when we talk about uh, early specialization and late specialization then the long term athlete development model comes in our mind that there are some stages like uh, active start is the first stage as soon as the child born we have to uh, there the active start uh, uh, in the in the children we have seen they are more active the movement education starts very early the children know uh, how to they are moving fast they are not speaking they are moving fast so movement education comes very early so active start uh, very early age up to 2 years then after that you can uh, go to the stage training to learn stage training to learn stage means what you have to going to learn uh, you have to understand you have to learn first what you have to train you have to learn first then you start your training then the training to train stage uh, stage come then training to compete stage come then training to win stage come and then after after all the competitions they have achieved in in their life then the training for uh, you can say a retirement which is very important because it's a, it's a regular training throughout your life because this regular physical uh, activity uh, gives you more benefit uh, sometimes we have seen that the people are doing uh, uh, two times or three times in a week uh, doing training no you can do regular means six days a week or you can uh, if you are doing serious athlete you can do uh, six time one one day uh, rest in a in a week but in in a regular uh, you can say uh, physical fitness training you can develop all the components whether uh, what is your aim first you, if you want to do sports you have to decide which sports it is uh, through talent and education we can check that you are suitable for hockey you can suitable for this you have a um, talent in hockey talent in football talent in track and field in track and field you have a talent in sprint event or in jumping event you know that this type of a identification once uh, established then you can start with a, a regular training under a supervised coach which can help you uh, with the correction technique corrective technique they, they will correct you what the movement education what is the requirement according to the specialization so uh, when when the child reach up to the peak height velocity period that is for 11 to 14 years for the girls and 12 to uh, 15 years in the boys section you know this period is a peak height velocity period and uh, here you can uh, nutrition plays very important role here so when when the child you can uh, lot of people can say lot of uh, the big team is 
attach if you want to make a one uh, good athlete for uh, up to that elite level uh, you you need a good uh, sports psychologist you need one good uh, nutritionist you can you need one biomechanist you can uh, you need one physiotherapist so you know that uh, uh, like dr akshay you know that we have dr hilo here a uh, lot of physiotherapy team here but physiotherapy plays very important role in any sports person life so if you are a, just a normal human being you can you can start your training regime normally just starting uh, with a low intensity exercises which can uh, definitely be then slowly you can bump your load there the adaptation of the load then you can increase slowly it's simple to comply you can increase the load by increasing the intensity of the workout intensity means this is your uh, the speed of workout and then volume the total work done in a uh, in a day in a session so in a session so many things are there if you are doing uh, a general uh, training session where in in that session the warm up comes first which is very important in warm up uh, 5 5 5 to 10 minutes of jogging then light stretching then do some striding uh, uh, sprints then you can ready for your fitness session in fitness session what component you are working on whether you are working on uh, strength part endurance part flexibility part or you, you can work on some uh, uh, you can say coordinative abilities part so there are lot of training methods in uh, sports which are definitely going to be helpful a normal human being also or uh, you can say a specialized person for the specific training for the sports person but it 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 depend upon the nature of uh, uh, sports what is your nature of sport for example i'm saying that uh, i'm working I, i'm 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 working with the sprinters uh, for the sprint uh, event like 100 meters 200 meters for that i have to work only on the strength part specific uh, strength that is explosive strength i am working on that if i am uh, related to speed because speed is the only ability in sports uh, when we talk about the component of fitness which is very less trainable because it is depend upon your uh, muscle fiber as all the doctors they know it that which type of whether it's a red a red fiber or the white uh, fast twitch fiber or the slow twitch fiber so it, it is it is to that you can know it that you can become a good sprinter in in later on in your life so for sprinting uh, which, which is less trainable you can do uh, plyometric training which is the depth jumping box jumping hurdle jumping which automatically you can uh, the principle of uh, you can say concentric and eccentric is isotonic type of a contraction is there so uh, you can develop uh, speed with type with this type of a some training but you know that yoga also as uh, it, it, lot of yoga people are um, attached over you yoga people can do lot of uh, you can say positive things in helping sports person or normal human being to develop their uh, cardio respiratory system uh, so that they can be able to um, give good performance uh, in in the sports or as well as in normal life because while doing meditation you can improve your concentration you can improve your focus but it is related to games but every person every sports person need meditation because there is a positive psychology behind it that's the term we use the flow in sports flow in the sports is the term uh, when everything happens whatever you think it happens that stage comes mean you are playing in the zone when you are playing in the zone you are giving your best performance at that time so now lot of people are doing a uh, very scientific and uh, technical training to get a good result in the sport or they are uh, they have the aim to give their best performance at right time that is during competition but some of the time i have seen the sports person they are fail to give their best performance at right time that is the competition so they if they want to give a uh, their best performance their optimum performance at right time that competition they have to <clears throat> improve the uh, this flow in sports so flow training with, with that type of a training they can uh, increase the chances of 
giving good performance, especially in some sports like archery, shooting, where the uh, the focus and concentration plays a very important role. So here the yoga uh, plays a very important role. We have uh, done some studies on uh, shooters also, where we have checked that, that some some of the molecules they are playing very important role in, in shooting performance. So we can say that uh, the yoga health related fitness and skill related fitness so many things collectively can improve the performance of a sports person but how technically you are giving the training that here the physical literacy comes that uh, in the very early stage if you want that every person this is a very big you can say uh, challenge for every person in in, in a country that we have to ensure that every kid in every state, in every school must be physically literate. So it's a big challenge. If we can do this in, uh, in, at the school level, then definitely there's a chance that a uh, lot of talent to uh, talent identification program, we can put uh, so many talented people in the sports and we will get definitely medals in Olympics and Asian Games in Commonwealth Games. In that way, you can do a lot of contribution. So, yoga teachers, health, uh, fitness trainers, they must uh, understand the seriousness of the physical literacy. So, this is all about, uh, uh, I can say, my talk uh, on physical literacy. If, if you people must understand the seriousness of physical literacy, so uh, we, can, we can contribute a lot uh, in uh, countries like Prime Minister of India, uh, Modi ji, have uh, started the Kelo India program. So that is uh, that is why now uh, the main aim of this program, Kelo India program. You know that my daughter is also a part of this Kelo India program. She is a very good cyclist. So we have, as because as a parent, I know everything. We have started them very young, physically literate them very young. Uh, I know that uh, I I I I taught my daughter swimming at at the age of two years when 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 she was two years. So if all the parents and the physical education teacher do this, and the parents uh, do this, then definitely the sports culture develop and the student, because sports playing activities are natural among the kids. They, they want to learn. They, they want to learn new skills in their life. So uh, we can do in this way, Dr. Akshay, if, if everybody, those who are listening to this uh, lecture, if you are focusing on physical literacy at very young age, we can do a lot of things. We can avoid injuries also. If, if we are uh, uh, doing this physical exercise. Thank this you, Dr. Gurmeet. That's a great talk and this is a very relevant topic also. In fact, yesterday we had uh, similar discussions on integrative health. We were having an assembly of scholars talking about global uh, advocacy for integrative health. And there was a, at least two people, Honorable, Prime, Honorable Minister Jitendra Singh Ji and uh, one of uh, Dr. Peter from Harvard uh, Osher Center also mentioned that we should uh, bring it to the the kids we should catch them early uh, make that make sure that they are active at schools of course in that forum we were talking more of sport uh, yoga but uh, sports and yoga both in involve like physical activity stretching and they also mentioned that if you stretch uh, that mechanical stretch also produces changes in the body also in certain gene expression so, yes, uh, Dr. Akshay, catch them young doesn't mean that you are putting them in a sports at in very early age. It is just catch them young means that you have to physically irritate them so that they will be able to good a good general athlete in later on their life. So not just uh, taking them to sports and asking them to do uh, play tennis or yeah. football or running, but also theoretically telling them the advantages. Yes. Yes. That is what sports literacy and that is what you are telling us. So we have a few yes. questions. We will uh, try to have a conversation and I'm sure people will learn. And if they post some questions on the Facebook that they routinely do, they will learn. So first thing you mentioned that uh, like your daughter is was only two years old when you probably introduced her to sports and she's a cyclist part of Halo India program. There is also the fitness program the Honorable Prime Minister just started. But have you seen uh, people coming to you who are not exposed to sports early in their life, but entered sports later in their life? And how did yes, they do? Yes, yes, yes. If 
very valid question i have seen some of the people if they uh, will get a chance uh, very early in their life then definitely they will reach the elite level definitely some of the because after after late specialization or after entering in the sport very late some of the people you are uh, robbing them uh, they are uh, chance to win a medal in the international level at international level so it is very important if, if we ensure that every person is a physical athlete and i have seen in in uh, us uh, some of the sports person they are they are a very good basketball player but later on their life they are shifting uh, they have a good talent in sports in sprinting they won a gold medal in the olympics they have won yes mm-hmm. we we have a lot of example from the olympics that they are very good player in some other sports and later on now uh, they are shifting to the athletics they won the gold medal over there wonderful so this is, yeah excellent is, uh, so that means they shift uh, gears later in the ah, life and yeah, they yeah. still excel well because you mentioned yeah. that uh, whether they should go to swimming or uh, they should uh, uh, find I, I, I have, uh, i'll i'll quote one example you know that in russia one of the high jumper is there his name is brumal he was a olympic gold medalist in high jump later on earlier he was a just a basketball player earlier he was just a basketball player and what happened uh, one one day one coach saw him that he is just crossing the big edge um, for um, uh, taking the ball he just jump other side of the uh, this the boundary and then taking the ball and jump uh, to the other side of the boundary then he saw that he has the jumping ability then he uh, introduced that man to the high jump and within 2 3 year he won a gold medal in the olympics wonderful this is so, this is the talent identification we can so this so, is uh, so identifying talent is also extremely important by people like you because you were trained i was told that you were trained in national institute of sports in yes. patiala and yes, they probably yes, yes. I, went... I, i i have actually i have done uh, uh, the you can say my uh, diploma in sport coaching in uh, track and field uh, in 1995 well, uh, there i have learned in uh, so many things which is very helpful to me nowadays because giving training to sports persons uh, uh, telling them suggesting them prescribing them these are the right exercise for you and i i can quote one more example from india you know that everybody knows pt usha she has given all credit to his um, uh, sorry her uh, uh, physical education teacher to introduce in the second field and she is a golden queen in asian games and one uh, she is the fourth uh, got fourth position in uh, los angeles games 1984 so it is only due to the physical education teacher in the school do you think the physical education happening now in the schools let us say in chandigarh or in india is any way different from the literacy happening in the us and other countries yes yes in us or you can say east european country they are uh, very particular they are ensuring that each and every kid in their school must be physically able. but here in india it is not like that some of the you know that there are very good physical education teachers they are doing their job and some are in the uh, private sector some are there in the Uh, government sectors so it is it depend upon the interest but if you are putting them that this is your curriculum you have to do this then definitely we will get a good result like us or uh, east european countries russians what the russian what the why the russians are uh, doing very good in the sport it is only due to the they are ensuring physical literacy uh, in, oh. among the people. so so that means you are you are opening up a pandora box we all uh, we all used to think why india is not getting enough medal is because <coughs> our priority is something else and yes. you know, food to eat and yeah. uh, to take care of the health in earlier days but now you are saying that india can also win as many medals as russia yes. you were saying yes. Yes. just with india. physical literacy it's not yes. about diet it's yes. not about uh, muscle tone it's not about our race everything india india you know that in every school in every state we have talent in every game only thing is that at very early age most of our kids they don't know how to walk how to run if running is the basic it's a mother of all sports if you don't know how to run you cannot become a 
good athlete in other sports also like in football if you are a very good sprinter you can become a world class football player i have seen in europe all the maximum uh, all the good footballer they can run 100 meter below 11 seconds so you think this is possible theoretically in india also yes. in the current situation if we physically literate them properly and educate them how to run and okay. not that they are self trained then it okay. can be results can be better you think definitely we can we can drastic change in the results we can do this but it's a big not very it's a big challenge it, it's not okay. uh, it, it is not that possible because we have uh, we are not having good uh, physical education teachers uh, in the school very few teachers are there they are doing this type of a job so the training the trainers you are saying is very yes. important and what yes. do you have to say for those uh, adolescents who are now hooked on and especially during lockdown to their gadgets and computer not able to go out or what should they do how how do they play although now it's opening up uh yeah they, they can now it's opening up they can do some uh, indoor training also you you know that in cycling during this lockdown period my daughter used to this uh, ro- uh, ro- um, uh, cycling on the roller there is a roller uh, there is the trainer roller you can do uh, cycling static cycling over there so she can do uh, one hour and two hour of cycling on the roller it's a, as good as the uh, same cycling so all the important thing is that you must know how to train it there are lot of things are there but you can do regular training then only you can improve your fitness so uh, getting up time and sleeping you know at time at which you sleep and the time at which you get up get up is it important for a sportsman or it doesn't matter yes, it is no it uh, is very sleeping important time. yes sleeping time is very important if if you are not uh, getting good sleep you will not able to get up uh, for the next session very fresh so you need uh, your uh, freshness your healthy sleep uh, for oh, the next that's okay session. that's okay but uh, is it imp- most of your students or uh, co athletes do they sleep late or do they sleep early does it matter yes it is matter if you are doing uh, in especially in the academies in india in kelo india academy the coaches they have the strict protocol they they said that after uh, uh, i think 9:30 you have to go to your bed because early morning 5 o'clock you have to be there in the ground so you have to go sleep and uh, they will put all the mobile phone in one room they have not allow them to use the mobile phone because a uh, screen time if you are there uh, they are seeing in the screen time the, the students are very lured to do this they are uh, using this late night gadgets this is not good sign this is not good you have so to uh, policy them. you are saying yes. that as a policy it is being uh, discouraged in that case yes 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 they are what about food there is a lot of myth people say that you have to eat lot of meat and chicken and then no. only you can do better is it correct or not no correct? no no it is not correct i have seen vegetarian uh, i will give a good example of uh, rajpal singh he is my training he uh, i trained him for last uh, 13 years uh, before his retirement from the hockey he he was an indian hockey team captain he was a, he is a, a vegetarian okay then uh, he is a very good sprinter also he ran 100 meter in 11 seconds but they say to build your muscles no you need no, protein no no you can you have a uh, this protein uh, you can say in paneer and in vegetarian diet also you can great uh, no okay. excellent and the students that are there whom you train your phd students and your uh, master students how many of them you see they become teachers or most of them become how many become professionals what do they like to do in their lives in general where, what do they do they, what they do, are, where do they land up where do they land up they they can become a good uh, school teachers good uh, college teachers university teachers and uh, some of them have opted the coaching line also and fitness trainer also and uh, some of them enter into the sport psychology field and i i okay. note that you are also uh, working on positive psychology yes so this is very important because you know that sport psychology also uh, plays very important role in the sport person's life and we are talking about peaking you have to give peak form at right time that matters a lot yes and you, it, you, the psychology helps in that yeah you mentioned that uh, especially with relation to yoga you mentioned in archery yes. and in shooting you have to focus yes. Yes. and you brought in the 
idea of yoga and meditation and i want yes. to ask you that you very nicely thank you for bringing up this idea but do you think yoga and meditation is helpful only for archery and uh, shooting no, no, also it can, it can also be in wrestling yes. or in in sprint also yes definitely they can in sprint uh, for the uh, when they are sitting on the blocks for the starting blocks if 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 they are concentrating focusing better they can they they can improve their reaction time so that's an excellent uh, observation yes. and this you yes. must be doing but are the western counterparts also using yoga uh, for the sprints like carl lewis or these uh, big names do they do yes, it definitely western people are more uh, you can say towards this yoga you know the we are we people in india not using this but the uh, the european people or the american the western country people they are more indulged in yoga they have a very yoga you can yoga specialist uh, yeah, yeah. for sports as coaches yes, yes wow. as coaches that's a lot of information for our viewers a lot of them are watching and this is thank you for telling us about this and what else uh, what kind of research are you doing and what new things are you doing as the head of the department of uh, uh, physical uh, education i actually i'm i'm just uh, now uh, uh, working on uh, to getting my uh, lab for the biomechanics because motion analysis motion analysis uh, we are lacking uh, uh, lagging behind in this uh, field because uh, uh, you know that uh, lack of uh, equipment in uh, because uh, it's a biomechanic it's a physics totally physics is a human motion uh, science of human motion how you can motion analysis so we, you need high frequency cameras for that and uh, when we talk about physiotherapy uh, physiology we need vo2 uh, max check so a lot of science is there in support uh, for the enhancement of performance so i must say that science people the all the scientists if they come together with a sports person we can do miracles without science you cannot improve performance at high level great and that you are combining research evidence and science yes. to optimize yes. the performance of sports what do you have to say dr gurmeet about sports literacy for doctors or ayurveda acharyas or ayush practitioners yes they must dekho uh, if if the medicine plays a very important role in human's life the same way physical literacy is also played if you are a very good you can say in a running you know the mechanics of running you know the mechanics of walking you will be very less uh, prone to injuries in your later life if you have a very good flexibility you can do lot of jerky movements in your life you will not get injured sometimes you see that if a normal human being they are doing uh, just pushing the bed and they are injured their back most of the doctor can do this <laughs> they are injuring their back without uh, uh, knowing that what is the technique of lifting what is the technique of pushing if you know if you know how to push how to lift the implement from the ground bending your knees rather bending your back you can do miracle you can avoid injuries like this yeah, you have very nicely pointed out in these behavioral day to day life for example when i go up to the third floor i can yes. trip over two to Uh, stairs and run through and i know where to put my uh, oh, foot. Yes. that's very very important i think if you are a sportsman yes. you have better motor coordination better anticipation yes. more uh, competitive spirit and less likely to be depressed am i right yes yes you are right you are right and what changes have you seen in your students as they grow in their life those who are sportsmen yes. those who are not sportsmen as compared they, to the they after passing out from the uh, university from the department they are now open to the field they are moving to the field and teaching the kids i have seen my uh, most of my students those who are very serious and physical literacy very good sports person they are now contributing in a very better way and they are earning money also from that you know that you you need fitness trainers good fit and knowledgeable fitness trainers i have seen in a market uh, in india in gym trainers only the people those who are just uh, building the muscle they 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 uh, uh, tell the people they are a very good trainer uh, otherwise they don't know what are the training principles whether they are following the sports training principles or not they don't know about it they are not uh, they don't know about the specific uh, training how you can they are doing they are doing just a general training uh, if uh, because training is an individual matter there is an individual difference you if you have uh, uh, a training i am giving the protocol to the training to you 
then i have a, another training protocol for the other person but it's a different there is individual differences there in that way my students are doing very better uh, uh, doing very well in the in sports so two last questions and thank you for continuing to have a beautiful conversation and this conversation is a learning experience for me and i'm sure for all the people what is your vision how do you think if you were made the sports secretary or you know in the government of india and asked to you know re shape the contours of the indian sports uh, dynamics or indian sports academics or sports academies uh, what one or two or three things you will do and i'm sure i'm going to send you when yes, you yes 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 link we're going to send to the yes yes, yes this is this is the very uh, you can say uh, i must do this if i get opportunity to this uh, definitely i can uh, actually education sports persons nowadays they are very less education they they don't know about the mechanics they don't know about the literacy they are just doing what the coaches are saying uh, telling them to do this in in kenya you know that when they are kenyan athletes leading who is who is your coach they are saying self coach they are self coach so i must say that if athlete is knowledgeable they are better in their performance because in that way they are using their mind in applying forces they know how to do how to apply it. what is the science behind it if the sports person know what is the science behind the sports they will do miracles in the sports so it seems so, the first thing you will do is to bring the science to the academies yes science what very science important scientific train uh, uh, the athlete which is very important and uh, if you were to do it within the campus that you have there where you live and where there are physical education uh, students trainees and the sports department is there and other associated psychology and related uh, arts, arts departments and faculties are there if you were to uh, be given in the charge of your campus uh, what would you like to do in sports and other things so yes can i can i can i can actually work on not on the sports because very few people are doing sports in the country but i must uh, work on health related fitness which is very important for the normal human being so health related fitness is very important so that everybody every person has a very uh, you can say fit and a good immune system in their body so that they can uh, survive survival of the fittest <laughs> it is it is the message you know that in in greece in ancient time greek people says that if you want to get your body beautiful then you have to do regular exercises if you want to uh, make your soul beautiful then you have to listen music listen to listen music listen music so this is the sages they are giving uh, to the world that period is we can call the golden age period in in the, in, in the field of physical education what the greek people have given to the world so we must learn from the ancient uh, greek people that how they are making their body beautiful every person you know that in they have some city states like sparta spartans are the city state they are very rigid in their rules and regulation they they must ensure that every uh, child especially the male child after 6 year they have to uh, they have like uh, that system they have to live in the barrack and train over there for the fitness and uh, then for the fighting and then for the olympic in this uh, city in, in the in, in that city state that that yeah. is part of so, so if you are given the charge of the beautiful campus you have you would, first thing you would do is to bring that spirit to yes, spirit in so every department everybody, of everybody come everybody uh, i i must say that the playing activities is natural among everybody everybody wants to play but we have to motivate them we have to put them uh, giving them lot of opportunities so that they can come out from their home and involve themselves in some type of activity so there is dr gurmeet singh with us is a got a great agenda for the country and most likely uh, what he is trying to say is to also bring the faculties in different departments at least the ones that where he lives in punjab university to dedicate an hour or half an hour to sports activities to bring them out of their seats where they are sitting 
and contribute to their own health, self-care, and become better citizens, more healthier, better uh, immune system. And obviously, when you are healthy, you are also socially positively active, and you do good things. You remain cheerful. If you are happy, then everybody is happy. Thank you Thank very you. much for sparing time for our program, and we will reconnect again. And I know you are out of city. Wish you a safe travel back home. Thank you for giving your valuable time to all of us. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.